We were building an instrument in Amsterdam to look at vacuum fluctuations to measure the spectrum of the vacuum. And building the instrument was challenging, but actually doing the computational work to see if the model matched what we measured was more challenging. It turned out to be about 300 pages of math typed. And to actually check the work as we proceeded, we used Mathematica. And that was very nice because um, it got us beyond the, the first stage, which is an even number of sign errors. So we were able to s finally get something that looked good, that was self-consistent, and then when we actually took the data and we compared the two, they looked the same. Mm -hmm. So that was very helpful. It would have been probably impossible otherwise. Usually we ask when we go into something new, why hasn't it been done before? And the reasons are either there wasn't a clever trick that was thought of or that it was just too difficult. And now that we have the, cap the powers of Mathematica, especially some of the new stuff in Mathematica 6, we can do things we couldn't do before. Well, one of the new things we're doing with this company called Scattering Solutions is we're looking at what the size of particles are in a, in a f solution. And that's very useful if you want to know if some of the new drugs that are coming online, they have to know if they've been clumping or aggregating. And also if you want to look at very small things like proteins and you want to see if you've got the right stuff in there. So we can actually shine a laser beam into a fluid and tell you if the particles in a size between two nanometers, which is like a billionth of a meter, up to microns, which is you know, a thousand times bigger. So it's a huge range, and a lot of this new technology that's coming online came out of the advanced technology programs that we were running at NASA. And what we're finding with the new version of Mathematica is when we go to fit some of the data we get, that data can have multiple components. And because the new version of Mathematica, Mathematica 6, allows us to, to do nonlinear fits and allows us to add constraints to the fits so we can zoom in on where we want to look and we can say exclude stuff out here because that's probably dust, we can get better results and we can do it quickly. By using Mathematica to do the data analysis, we can do a very sophisticated data analysis. There are other ways to run the instrument, but it's very nice that we can actually wed them into one. And it's, it's kind of early on in the game. Wolfram is just getting into this, but it's very doable. And, and at the conference, when I have to give a talk tomorrow, I'll actually show a bunch of graphical user interfaces we've built to do just this. I think Mathematica is very self-consistent now. And even though it has thousands and thousands of commands, when we were beta testing this code, that means looking at it like a year before they had a chance to even document it, we were able to guess from the self-consistency how to do things. And I think that's very powerful. And that means that you're, it's not going to take nearly as much time to figure out how to do things. That, and now that we have all these examples that are online, and now that the, the help files are so big they don't even fit on the CD, you can go out online and find all these thousands of additional examples. I think that's the thing to do, is to, is to you know, build on the, on the work of others and, and not try to reinvent from, from scratch. And, and a lot has been done. I mean, it's such a huge user base that that's really, really nice.